Hi all, my name is Abhinit. Today I will uh, show a demo on Subred 3, Java E specification of Power Subred 3.0. Um, <coughs> for that, you need a Java E certified uh, web server or app server. I have configured Tomcat uh, 7.0, which is compliant to uh, Subred 3.0. And I have configured in my with my workshop, and I have created a project called HTML5. You can see it. Um, so if if you see the project facet or uh, the project references, right? See, you, know, you can see the dynamic web model is 3.0. Earlier versions it was 2.5. So as of now, I have added this only because I will just showcase uh, what is server 3.0 and how it works. Now, as of Subbit 3.0, what they have added, uh, annotations, annotations based configure declaration. Uh, you don't have to declare anything in uh, mappings and all, you don't have to uh, map it in web.xml, rather we can do it in our uh, code base only. So, let's get started with that. I have created a package called Sublets. Let's say I create one more Sublet here, Sublet. Say, class name will be your demo Sublet. Next, then URL mapping. Uh, you can have multiple URL mappings here. Say demo. Okay. Next, then what are the methods you need? Do post, do get, do put, or something. You click on finish. You can see this is the most important. So uh, it doesn't require a web.xml XML where you have to configure the server mapping and server deem, server class name and all. So when you give uh, <coughs> web server blade, this is called the URL patterns. It's an array of string with uh, a context path and the servlet name, uh, servlet path. Sorry. So for an example, I can have multiple servlet mapping for the servlet called demo servlet. One is demo servlet slash demo servlet and slash demo, so that I can access demo servlet through URL called application slash demo servlet or slash demo. You can have multiple also. Say for an example, if you want to add <coughs> demo one, also you can keep. Okay, uh, it has more mem much more options. In this configuration, you can con configure load and startup. This is nothing but the URL buttons, then load and startup. If you put uh, one, then <coughs> the init method uh, here. If you do write some something, so that, that will be called or init method will be called on the startup. Now, if uh, for this time, we will remove this. Subred 3 has one more feature called async support. If you make it true. Then the asynchronous support will be added to the subred 3.0 space spec. Later on, I'll talk about uh, this async support. Then we'll go for some other features: display name, description, small icon. Those are some additional features they have given. Now let's uh, go again and um, go further. We'll go further. We'll write something on the to get method over here to test it. So I just print something. Hello from server 3. Now I'm just let's print it. So just before that is please reach to the server but now you can see this console started up. Now run it and now I'll open a window over here and then it's tp colon local host colon 8081 slash HTML5 slash demo as you know so you can see this now just test for the multiple servlet patterns here URL patterns I can I can have demo one same on the output then I can have
again it has same output. This is a simplest uh, demonstration of this sublet 3.0 specification. Later on I will talk much about uh, the new features added in sublet 3.0.